Hello, my name is Roger and I'm going to show you how to get started with .NET MAUI uh, primarily for Windows users so um, the first thing you need to do you can go to visualstudio.com and you have to download Visual Studio Community Edition and then you are going to um, get a download uh, file and when you open the download file you get some options okay so when you you I'm I have already installed mine on my computer so I don't need to install it again so um, I need some <laughs> ASP.NET and Node because I use this uh, Visual Studio for other types of development as well, building APIs and stuff. But if uh, you're new to this, you you at least you need um, .NET MAUI uh, installation. So just check this and install. This can take a while, so just uh, pause this video and come back when you're done with that. Okay, so gonna close this, close this, and open .NET MAUI. Uh, the first thing you can do now is uh, click on create new project in this case is uh, choose the .NET MAUI app and click next uh, yeah you can uh, call it whatever you want um, I'm just gonna call mine hello world doesn't matter um, if it's just if you're just testing it out and choose uh, your location you can click here as well um, of course and then you can click next uh, and uh, you can choose create okay so now Visual Studio have created a new project for us and we can start it out uh, with uh, running it on a Windows machine. My I primarily use uh, .NET MAUI for mobile apps, so I can show you how to do that. You can choose from the drop down here, and um, if you haven't set up uh, Android emulators, you probably may have to uh, set it up here and you can choose Android device manager tools Android device manager okay and when you come in here you may have to set it up the first time you have to accept uh, some installing uh, conditions and then you can click on new uh, but uh, I mostly use my um, <coughs> own Android phone actually uh, I use a Motorola G200 it's new and quite fast so it actually consumes less memory from uh, and computer power from my computer and uh, the development goes faster I can show you that in another video if you want um, but this is an alright way to get started so when you have this one installed you can <coughs> choose from drop down here Android emulators and choose your emulator and just have to wait a couple of seconds maybe there we are and click the play button uh, it's gonna take a while the first time you build uh, the app and open the Android emulator um, now it's up uh, I can show you some features you can go come here to hello world and look at this um, you have uh, something called hot reload so if I say hello Roger there you go pretty fast and uh, really neat so there's a lot of stuff we can do of course <laughs> you can build whatever kind of app you want 
but this uh, the purpose of the, this app is to show you just uh, how to get started with your first app you can try to click me see here uh, it's um, some code here that uh, adds a number so let's see what's happened here um, we have an X name counter button in this main page dot SAML SAML is the language uh, of the layout and uh, the dot CS file is the language uh, C sharp code and it's here you do the programming so what's happening here is that there's an there's a method called on count clicked you can see it's connected over here as well um, clicked and then on counter clicked the reason these two pages or not pages but uh, why the main page the saml and page main page saml.cs can cooperate is because of this x class hello world main page if you remove this or write something else you can see you get an error as well but um, that's how you can these two can cooperate yeah if I change it you can see here error in the CS file as well okay that's go good let's uh, see something more um, yeah the method um, I guess you are familiar with programming uh, if you see this then you can probably understand this method uh, at least some of it um, the thing that happened here is it's a count variable an int integer uh, that's zero and each time you click on on count or click this method is uh, running count plus plus adds one um, so if the count is one it's added one time and if it's uh, more than one it uh, writes times as well just to get familiar with what's happening so I can remove the image or add image maybe you want to add another image let's start a bit easier let's add uh, more text maybe another line of text and write something else how are you okay and edit the font size yeah I can show you how to change an image though uh, just to get started with something because all apps usually have a uh, custom image there's uh, right now there's you have to follow this procedure let's see if you let's uh, we can go to <laughs> back to this page for example and save picture and just uh, save this I actually stop the app now because when you add a, an image you have to build the projects uh, over again so you want to go into resources and images and you want to right click here and add existing item and all choose all files and choose the image and you can see what happens there if you want to add product icon we can go back to main page and copy this image and yeah uh, you can notice it's actually dot svg so what happens here when you build uh, the project again it converts the svg to the proper png uh, file if you don't know uh, much about file uh, types 
SVG is a vector based type you can make it big without uh, <laughs> without it uh, getting worse uh, quality or uh, but with PNG it's like pixelated so so uh, in that Maui now you have to you get the PNG version when it's compiled so let's uh, try adding this product icon I don't know if you can use big uh, upper characters in here well, let's try let's see what happens yeah there we go uh, invalid file names file names must be lowercase so let's just change that you can right click rename and product icon and here as well actually I think you can write SVG here as well if you want and it will work but um, I think at least in most cases what happens here oh uh, actually you can't use uh, this uh, you have to change to an underline here as well and there we go I guess it will I actually got a build error here right now um, so I don't know why that's coming up now okay let's try to clean solution and build it again okay so that actually worked I clicked build and clean solution and build uh, again so I don't know why that worked probably some caching of the wrong thing I did uh, with big letters here let's see okay let's see what happens here I have a product icon why isn't it showing though I can um, have a misspelled product icon dot uh, png yeah <laughs> probably some spelling uh, I did wrong so there you go you have a uh, hate request here as well you can choose to hate let's see what happens if I take it away okay yeah so there you go you have something to <laughs> get started with and I it was actually a good example of how you can debug or fix uh, when something goes wrong when you're adding an image you have to have small letters and use underline I have another suggestion at the end of my video here uh, if you want to set up your uh, development environment more thorough Gerald vs. Lewis uh, has a great uh, course on YouTube you can search this up so um, there we give you more detailed uh, description of what's going on and actually if you want to have a faster uh, development if you have to activate Hyper-V and stuff like that uh, so actually it looks like they have uh, for iOS development there as well that's a good uh, way to get started if you don't get um, my guide to work so good luck